Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now it's finally December and it is the season to be jolly, which means only one thing. Christmas lights. Now, I've been wanting to get my hands on these bad boys for quite some time. I finally managed to pull my finger out and actually organize myself and get some. So here they are. Now, these aren't just any old fairy lights. These are twinkly branded Christmas lights. Now, you might think when I say twinkly that I just mean they're sparkly lights. And they are, you wouldn't be wrong by thinking that, but these are a branded product and they have a very special function. Now, I absolutely adore Christmas. It's my favorite, favorite time of year. It's my favorite holiday. The most special thing I can remember from my childhood is the Christmas tree. And I used to sit there on the sofa next to the Christmas tree and I used to peer in to the branches and look at the little decorations sparkling in the different color fairy lights. Now, I've always been into colored fairy lights, so multicolour fairy lights, because I'm a child of the 80s and that was the thing in the 80s. Nowadays, like the emphasis is always on white, um, on warm white now I think is the trend. And in a few years back in the early noughties, it was all blue LEDs. I'm not really a fan of blue at Christmas. It's not really a Christmassy colour for me, but each to their own. What sets these apart from regular fairy lights is that they have three colors in the LED diodes, red, green, and blue. So you can effectively make any color in the rainbow. Now I've got the second generation special edition, which also features a warm white uh, LED diode as well. So you actually have RGB and white. The white that you get when you mix the red, green, and blue together is a very cold white. And I wanted something a bit warmer. I wanted the ability to have a classic look on my Christmas tree. So I thought spend an extra 20 quid on the two sets and I can have that really gorgeous classic Christmas look because I don't actually know how I want my Christmas tree to look. And the great thing about these lights is they give you options. Now the app is really powerful and it enables you to choose from some custom presets of looks or scenes, but there's also an effects builder. So you can create your own custom effects, layer up lots of different things and produce something really unique. I've been obsessed with lights since I was a kid. So the idea that I could customize my fairy lights on my Christmas tree or wherever I put them, was just a really big pull. So first of all, I'm gonna do an unboxing for you so you can see what you get in the pack. And then I'm gonna do a demonstration on my Christmas tree, which is not yet built, but through the magic of editing, I'm gonna to cut to it. These are the twinkly strings. So twinkly strings are like a traditional kind of fairy light. There's actually two chains that come from one controller and they are LEDs that are just wired in a line. You can also get these in an icicle format. So um, a string of lights with multiple kind of different drops of different numbers of lights hanging down. You can get, I believe, um, strips that are kind of like a more of a solid LED bar that you can wrap around things, you can put them under cupboards, maybe not so much holiday lights, but more of a permanent installation. But I wanted to go for these because this is what's recommended for your Christmas tree. I can reuse these for other things at other points in the year. So these were definitely the best fit for me. Now I do have a confession to make. I've already got some of the icicles out on the balcony. Here's a shot of the icicles in action. Quite pretty, aren't they? They came a few weeks ago and I've set them up and I just wanted to play around with the app and also they are technically not my Christmas lights because I want them on my balcony all year round. So I allowed myself to put those up early. Whereas these, Christmas tree, not until December. But we're now in December, so let's go. Another thing to mention about these lights is that they are smart lights so they can connect to your home hubs so if you use amazon alexa or if you use um google i don't know what it's called google assistant whatever they're called the non-apple ones it works with all of them i think both generations first and second and the second generation now also work with apple home kit so if you have a home pod and, and i'm very much apple ecosystem so 250 will basically on a 360 tree where you want to see around it, it's only going to kind of cover the first third of the tree. If you just had a tree up against a wall or in a corner and you only need to see kind of, you know, two thirds of it, this is probably enough because you can just not take them around the back. But I wanted to be able to see my tree from all sides and you'll see why in a moment. So I've gone for 250 and 400. Now, in the box, it's very nice packaging. Here on the back, um, you've got little picture showing you um, what the app looks like and then some of the different effects that you can do. If companies can't be bothered with the packaging, 
um, that says something. We've got a postcard, which, you know, is actually not a postcard because it's got something on the back, but whatever that is. Got your instruction manual here, which essentially just shows you how to connect to the app. I don't do instructions. I make it my point to know how things work before I get them. You get some twinkly stickers here as well, which is a nice touch. I'm not sure I would use them on anything, but this is the, the charger that goes into the wall. Now it is detachable, which I love. I really hate plugs that are pre-wired. I like to be able to unplug the plug. My TV, which is a really expensive OLED TV, LG, love the TV, but it has a pre-wired plug that goes all the way into the TV. So you can't even take the cable out. Not good. This is the controller. So this is what connects to your home Wi-Fi or if you want to use it in standalone mode with your phone only or you don't have Wi-Fi at home, which I can't imagine many people wouldn't who would be getting these, but if that's you, you can still use them with your phone using direct Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You get the two strings, so they, they packaged really nicely like this and they both connect in to the controller. These are actually wrapped in like a Velcro strap. You can use these straps. Um, for breaking the lights. If you don't want to use them on a tree, if you're putting them on banisters or railings or something like that, these are actually really handy and they probably will last outside, I would say. If you're buying these um, ahead of when you're expecting to use them, I would highly recommend that you plug them in. You don't even need to unwrap them, but you plug them in just momentarily. Don't leave them on, obviously. And you just test and check that all of these bulbs are working. So you just check both, both sides on both of the bundles. And I would also connect them to your phone, make sure that the connection and the app and everything is working. And then I would cycle through the three main colors, red, green, and blue. And if you know that they're all working for each of those colors, you know that all of your diodes are in good nick. Because actually one of these on the special edition has four separate bulbs in it. It has a red, a green, a blue, and a white. So that's four things that can go wrong in one bulb and you times that by 250, that's a thousand things in this product that can basically go wrong. And if one of those things goes wrong, it's gonna mean you're not gonna have a color working. And that's exactly what happened to the first set of these that I bought. There was no red working. So when I cycled through the colors and I got to red, one of the LEDs just wouldn't come on. Don't forget, you get a year warranty with these. So I'm gonna be using these through the whole holiday season and then I'm gonna check them again and test them again. And if I have a bulb that's out, I'm gonna, get them replaced on the warranty because you shouldn't be losing a bulb after one season of use and they're expensive so they need to last. I will say that the build quality of these is really good. Sometimes with cheap lights um, the cables feel a bit kind of rigid. It doesn't feel brittle or thin, it feels quite substantial and there is a, a good amount of flex there. I would still be really careful with them, especially if you're putting them through a window. I actually put mine through for my balcony. They can't go through the door because it's just opening and closing and it's just gonna break them. So I've put it through the bedroom window and I've actually double wrapped a piece of bubble wrap and I've put the cord through the middle of that and that's gone in the window. So it's kind of cushioning the cable a bit as the window's closed. And I would do a little test as well with something in there before you put the cable in and just see how much it's crimping why is packaging always so hard to open? I mean, that's not really necessary, that. You have a little bit of um, flex um, spare between the plug, which will plug in there, and the controller. So it's not a huge amount. Once it's set up and working, you don't need to go near this or touch this at all. Um, it just sits there and it does its thing. And it gets warm, but it doesn't get hot. So don't worry, it's not gonna burn your house down well. I didn't say that. Oh, there's a nice holographic cable there, uh, cable tag there, I should say. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know that there are fake ones out there, to be honest, because I've not seen them floating around and I've only seen these on a couple of websites. They're quite hard to find. Twinkly.com don't sell them directly. So they have a section on their website and you put in your country and your region and it tells you what stores locally online and um, physical retailers will have them in stock and then you have to go to those separate um, retailers to see if you can find them. It's a bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie. I would love it if Twinkly sold these directly, but they don't, uh, well, at least not in the UK. 
I got them from festivelights.com, which I think is a UK-based company, even though it's .com, and lightsforfun.co.uk. Both of those companies I would highly recommend. I've used them both in the past, and they both have really excellent customer service. So I think they must be like a limited manufacturer of these every year because they're such a kind of bespoke product. So if you're thinking about getting some of these, certainly if you're thinking of getting them for this 2021 season, I would have a look straight away on a website and if you're not sure, I would just order them anyway because um, you can always send them back if you don't want them. But they will go. If you see them in stock, the next day they will be gone. If you see them online, grab them. Do you like my Christmas cup? Well, it's not a Christmas cup. It's a Starbucks mug. I like it. I bought it in Dubai. I actually bought two of them, so I have a backup. I like green. It's my favourite colour and this was like a sparkly green little sequin number and I saw it and I was like yes it's got a blue hue to it as well so green and sort of a blue tinge in different angles and I love it. Some of them don't have a UK plug they may not have your local kind of plug type they may have a different one because they may be imported. I actually bought these ones with a UK plug my other set here uh, unfortunately there were none available with a UK plug I got them with an EU plug and then I just bought an adapter um, and I bought a nice black one and it was like two pounds from Amazon. That's the UK one. That's the EU one or European one. You can't buy these separately, which is really annoying because I just thought, well, I'll just seeing how much, see how much these are and I might just buy a different one of these, but actually that's two quid. So, um, but yeah, it just looks like that. I don't care because this plug is gonna be out of sight and out of mind. I'm rambling loads and I'm really sorry. This is just what I do. I haven't recorded a video for so long so I'm a bit out of practice of talking to the camera and talking to you guys. So apologies for that, but I will get to it now and show you what they look like on a tree. And I will see you later when I am editing Joe. Christmas time was drawing near I had everything in order Around we shoveled for the deer With lights around the border Cookies laid out and stockings hung smaller bowl because of the slimming effect. He flew into the night and he said with a shout, Merry Christmas to all and to all. Check me out. As you'll see in a moment, the tree is now fully dressed with its baubles, sparkle and incredible ornaments. It looks truly stunning. So enjoy the next few clips of the tree. I hope you took something away from this. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button below. Hit subscribe and the bell to be notified when I'm posting new content, which will hopefully be soon. 
So without further ado, here are the clips and I'll catch you all next time.